Oh man, it's new car day. It's gonna be new car day for like the next 10 videos. No joke, There's, I, got, I got way too many to open. See, you guys thought I was joking. Like 10 packages to open. Today, it's that guy. Ow. What is up guys, my name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog, guys. Today is a new car release day. That means this car isn't just new to me. It should be new to everybody. But it is a low seat, and without further ado, we're breaking it open. Don't cut the box. Don't cut the box. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Bam! Here it is, guys, the new Losi LMT Mega Truck. So this is gonna be very similar to the Grave Digger oh, and the, the Grave Digger LMT, amazing truck. However, there are some subtle differences. One, this one should have a longer wheelbase, and most importantly, this one runs on 4S. I thought the 3S Grave Digger was definitely fast enough. Um, but on 4S, I bet you think I bet you this thing is ballistic. We're gonna pull this thing out of the box, compare it to the LMT, and then of course drive it. So let's still take a look at the box panels really quick. Um, yeah, we're not gonna read all that. Here's this side box panel. Oh man, this is licensed. This is licensed. You know me, guys, and licensed cars. I'm all about licensed cars, and Monster Jam licensed cars are always really. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty sick. So it looks like now it's a front hinge. A front hinge body. I think that's the other upgrade on this thing. Also, the side plates, the chassis plates, are now powder coated. It also comes with upgraded shocks, which I believe that might have been the only thing that I broke, and not even broke on the last one. I think it just the shock cap just came off, and I just had to, to put it back on in the original LMT. I don't even remember. I could be making that up. That could have been another car, but upgraded shocks on this one. Oh, look how clean it is. Can't wait to take it out of the box. Needless to say, because it's forest, I believe the motor is a little bit lower in KV, but that means more torque. But I don't think you're gonna sacrifice much speed since we are gonna be pushing more voltage. Here's the other side panel. Okay, enough with the enough with this. We gotta bust this thing out of the box. Oh, look at that box art. Oh man, that is sick. Come on, come on. Desperate times. Desperate measures. Oh man. Holy smokes. Oh man, look at how sick this thing is. It's like a mud truck. So it's like tractor tires. Not mud truck tires but tractor tires. So these are mud boggers. This, hence the mud, the the bog hog name. They also have another one called a king sling, which is green. I'm really, really happy. I got this orange one because it's kind of kind of looks like a Jeep. We'll find out. Those look like working LEDs. But these tires, these tractor tires, I bet you it's gonna perform way better. Less rotating mass, more power. I bet you it's gonna be freaking awesome. I can't wait. As for the proper unboxing, comes with your remote. This one does have telemetry. These are the nicer remotes. I am gonna bind it up to my DX5C though. Comes with these. These look like a different offset. I guess if you wanna run, maybe if you wanna run the, uh, like the monster truck offset, you can put these on. Different battery straps and stuff. It does come with batteries, which is really, really nice. And then obviously your manual. Check out that box art. This is on the inside of the box, the bog hog. Look at that. That is sick. All right, let's go into more detail on the truck. We're gonna pull the body clips off here. Now it comes off of the back. I will grab my LMT so we can compare it side by side. Oh, maybe on the side also. Yep, on the side, forgot about those. Come on. Luckily, it's got these little tabs, which makes it really, really easy to take off. And then this should come up. There you go, there is the truck. Here, let me rotate it so you got better light here. There you go, guys. Oh, look at it, it looks so good. These side plates, Powder coated, oh, they, they look super freaking sick. Let me go grab the regular LMT so we can do a comparison. But man, this thing, I mean, even the original LMT was built like an absolute tank. Like the, the craftsmanship on just the pieces, the parts, you can tell it's very well built, very refined, 
very clean. Oh man, it's like a piece of art. It's such a beautiful car. Even the original LMT, this one is just a smidge better because it has those powder coated side plates. Oh man, okay, let me go grab the LMT real quick. Boom, there's the original LMT. The tires, so much bigger. Here, let me do a side-by-side -side comparison here. Look at the tire size difference. This is like a true monster truck, again, like a mud bogger. But as you can see, the wheelbase is just slightly longer. Pulling up the body on the LMT versus, oh, oh, I forgot which ones don't go all the way back. I think these are okay to go all the way back. All right, we changed angles a little bit for a better comparison. God, these tires, I cannot stop looking at these tires. These tires are sick, these tractor tires. Oh man, I, I kind of want to put them on other cars. I think it's going to perform so much better. I want to drive it so bad, but before we do, going over the differences, the shocks, oh, I think the shock shafts might be different because the shocks actually look the same. So I confirm the shock shafts are different. Also, there are covers, there are mud covers right here um not mud covers on this one because this is a mud truck powder coated side plates the orange oh it just pops look at those stickers down there i'm glad they put those stickers on because i don't want to put those stickers on the motor smaller but it's smaller lower kv because it's going to be able to handle more voltage the escs are actually exactly the same but the lmt was 3s cable this is 4s cable i believe it's because of the motor it can now do 4s the, the 3S configuration to me had plenty of power. This is probably gonna be absolutely ballistic. This is interesting guys. There is a, oh, hold on, let me get this off. Oh man, oh, it's easier if you go from under here. Ta-da! Uh, this is interesting, this foam piece right here. This foam piece is not in here. It's because it can handle the shorter 4S batteries now, which is really, really cool. I'm not gonna take it out because we're not gonna run that 4S battery. I don't know if I need a, maybe I don't need a longer strap. That should be fine. Let's let's throw the 4S in there. I gotta bind it up anyways. I would like to point out that if you run the Spectrum battery with the Bog Hog, uh, the orange matches. It's the small details, guys. The small details go a long way with me. Even the Spectrum, the orange on the Spectrum. Oh, that looks sick. Another observation, guys. The LMT has a wheelie bar. The new Losi Mega Truck does not. I'm thinking these pieces don't stay on very long because if this thing has as much power as I think it does, it's going to wheelie and rip it off. But only time will tell. We got to drive this thing. All right, so the verdict is in. Just got done driving a few packs in the new Bog Hog, the Losi LMT Mega Truck. First impressions, it has an insane, insane amount of power. Like crazy amounts of power. So much power where you, you I, I wasn't confident being full throttle for a long time because it was on the edge of losing control. That's how much power it was. It is scary on full throttle. Also, if you're driving it the first time on 4S, because it has so much power, it also has an incredible amount of brake. So make sure you turn your brakes down. There were a couple of times when I came up, like did an endo. I was like, holy crap, I need to turn the brakes down. I turned it down to 60% and it still had too much brake. I think 50 would be better. But you can only do that if you bind it up to a DX5C. It's really easy. There's actually a brake button on there and you can just turn your brake down. But yes, turn down the brake and it's got an incredible amount of power. So let's start with the goods. First and foremost, obviously the power system. It is insane. They went lower in KV. That means more torque, but now you can run 4S. Incredible power system. I love the speed control in that thing. I actually did a budget truck oh, and I, I talk about it all the time. That Spectrum yeah, 130 amp speed control. It can handle 4S no problem, 2000 KV. And I put it in a race truck. It's actually what Mike Battelle runs in his race truck right now, his e-truggy, and he wins with it. It's a great ESC. That's one thing that I definitely give a big thumbs up to the low C and Arma stuff with the Spectrum speed controls and motors. Great electronic. Durability, it is extremely durable. I mean, we wrecked it really bad. I ran about three packs through it, didn't break anything. And there were some really, really bad wrecks. So bad of wrecks where I'm like, uh, yeah, it's definitely got to break. Because it's so big, it's kind of heavy, I thought for sure it would break. It did not. It's very durable. I'm super impressed. What I've seen in the past with people in LMTs is they break, they break the uh, the axles, the plastic axle housings. I, I didn't break one, and I, I, there's a reason for it. I think I know what it is, but we'll get to it at a later point. This is kind of subjective, but I think it looks, it looks amazing. I think it looks super sweet. The refinement and how the build is, that car is just incredible. And I had this oh opinion on the original LMT of uh, this one with those metal 
um, powder coated side plates it makes it look even cooler and more refined it looks like an amazing hobby grade vehicle I love the way it looks it looks very scale big thumbs up on the looks so I told you I was gonna get to the point about durability at another point anyways the tires are awesome I think the tires are super sweet so they're they're thinner so there's not as much rotating mass I, that's also why I think it's a little more durable when you have a lot of rotating mass a lot of rotating mass on your tires it tends to break things it pulls things apart it can snap things because these tires are so thin there's a lot less rotating mass however because the chevron pattern and the lugs are so big on tire you don't really lose traction it still gets plenty of traction i think the tires are an awesome addition to the lmt just in general thinner tires are just more efficient and in this case makes the car more durable also the extended wheelbase they extended the wheelbase by one and three quarter inches and that extension actually does a big part in how the car handles i did note whenever i was unboxing it that i didn't notice a wheelie bar you don't really need the wheelie bar it would pull the wheels if you tried really hard or you landed and kind of bounce up and pull the wheels but if you're just driving it even on even on cement it doesn't just pull wheels so it makes it way more controllable a lot easier to drive it's not a complete wheelie king but you can get them up but the wheelbase extension how they extended the wheelbase oh man that, that made a huge difference all right on to the bads the rear fenders just as i thought they are kind of fragile i already bent them uh right when i first started driving i did a wheelie and i could hear it kind of scrape i mean that's what hits whenever you do a wheelie and they are bending already and when they bend they kind of sit at a different angle and it kind of you can't really see it on that side the other side's pretty bad uh it kind of looks like the car's broken uh, now no. with that said i feel like you can just cut those fenders off and it will still look super sick and you don't really need them but when i'm talking about the rear fenders yeah they're a little fragile also just as you would yeah. expect the car has a ton of body roll so you got to be really careful when you drive it especially if you drive it out really far and you don't want to get it whenever you turn you definitely want to make sure you're at a slower speed because it will body roll now with that said when it body rolls so long it rolls enough you can usually get it back on its wheels just by the amount of power it has and just kind of controlling throttle and doing some steering you can usually get the car to rotate just enough to get it back on its wheels but it does right. roll a lot but i think that's by design a mud a mud truck isn't supposed to be taking a lot right. of turns it is it does make it a little bit harder to drive however i do think that's by design in regards to the suspension it's bouncy which it's i guess that's the way it's supposed to be on a monster truck however whenever you land like whenever you land flat like let's say you land all four wheels at the same time for some reason the rear kind of bounces up and you find yourself trying to correct because it lands it slams down the rear springs up and it kind of donkey kicks after it lands which is really really strange uh you can kind of predict it you know what's going to jump basically donkey kick when you land so you can give it a little more throttle after you land um, but it is weird i think you can definitely tune the suspension to not do that another thing that makes it hard to drive but i also think is by design because it is a monster truck also the battery strap a little tedious you can get it on there and i like that it's kind of like a rubber strap so you can put all different size batteries in there but to try to get your fingers down and i, I got bigger fingers to try to get your fingers down to latch the little strap onto the the part that it's supposed to latch on is a little tedious i i saw you saw it at the beginning of the video when i was putting a battery in i kind of have to go up from under it i think it's better to go up top but either way getting a battery in and out a little tedious also when i was cleaning it i did notice my front shocks leaking i just won both front shocks leaking that could have been because of a wreck uh, i'm not going to mark that up as a bad a bad bad thing because i think if you were driving it normally and not driving it too hard that wouldn't happen however i did notice them leaking a little bit you might want to check i didn't check you might want to check to make sure the bottom of the shock is screwed on it looks like it's leaking from the bottom of the shock maybe it's just not screwed on tight enough that might be a good thing to do when you get the car take the shocks off make the shock bottom make sure the shock bottoms are screwed on really tight that way the oil doesn't come out now with that said when the oil comes out not a big deal you just put more oil in it the shocks didn't break but they are showing a little signs of leak so i'm going to end this with a couple of tips if you decide to get this car first tip is the body gets held on by four body clips you don't need four body clips uh, i just use a two in the back and the lmt you can just use a two on the front there's two that strap on under the sides and then two on the under front or under rear based on what LMT you have. On the new LMT Mega Truck, they do go into the back, but you only need two body clips. You just need two on the back or two on the front. You don't need all four 
And the last tip, if you get this truck, I don't think you need 4S. I did drive it on 3S afterwards just to see because 4S is like ballistic, like scary amounts of power. I think if you are new to the car or new to the hobby and you're driving it on 4S, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna break it because it has so much power. If you know how to drive, you can control it, you won't break it. I went two battery packs on 4S, didn't break it at all, but I feel like 3S is better. It's, it's more manageable. It's still got a crap ton of power. You're still gonna be like, oh my God, this is a lot of power. Um, but it's a little more manageable, manageable. I think when I drive this thing, I will drive it on 3S, not 4S. That extra power you really don't need and you really can't put it down anyways. Also one more thing that could potentially break the car, which you don't want. Overall guys, I love it. I think I'm gonna get the Kingsling also. I have both the LMTs. I, the platform is just really, really cool. It's just a cool truck to have. Huge thumbs up for me. Well, I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Later guys.